Jesus Christ is coming back real soon. Again, I'm telling you all, Jesus Christ is coming back real soon. Prepare for the pre-tribulation rapture of the church because Jesus Christ could come back at any moment. He could come back today, tonight, tomorrow, the next day, or wherever he may be, or wherever he may come. Only God the Father, the creator of heaven and earth, he knows when his son Jesus Christ is coming back soon. And that is why God the Father is getting ready for the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. And he's also getting ready for the wrath of God um, to take place here in America and all around the world during the seven year tribulation. But first he wants to get all of us, that's you and me and all born again Christians only. He wants to get all of us out of this world so that we will not be subject to God's wrath anymore according to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 1 to 11. Because our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ does not want anybody to be left behind. He does not want any born again Christians with the Holy Spirit to be left behind. He does not want any of he does not want anybody and he does not want all these people around the world to be left behind. And to face the seven year tribulation full of death, destructions, chaos, more pains, more plagues, more diseases, more severe weather storms, more everything that will happen everywhere. And that is why the Lord is telling us to get ready for the pre tribulation rapture of the church. The Lord is still telling us to get into the ark with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, so that way we shall all be safe with Him and the Holy Spirit, including God the Father, who created the heavens and the earth, including us inside of our mother's wombs. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ loves us so much, and He does not want us to stay here in this world. That's why He gave us so many dreams and visions and prophetic warnings, and even this message as well, to let you all know that God is getting ready for the wedding banquet, for the wedding feast. And he's getting our houses, our mansions ready in heaven. He's getting, he is also getting our heavenly rewards ready. And he's also getting all the heavenly crowns ready for us so that once we are raptured out of here during the pre-tribulation rapture of the church, that we will all go home and be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and that we will have lots and lots of fun at our wedding feast wedding banquet and also the judgment seat of Christ where we will where we will be judged by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ totally righteously. That doesn't mean that we will not be in big trouble. It means that we will be safe with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and that we will receive lots and lots of heavenly rewards with heavenly crowns, including our eternal heavenly houses and mansions, all that cool stuff. And plus, we will also participate in the wedding feast where we will eat lots and lots of food. All your favorite foods that he is preparing. And all the, and all the, uh, the drinks as well. But no alcohol. No alcohol in heaven. Because we do not want to be drunk with wine by Satan. No. As a spirit of drunkenness, we do not want to be drunk by the devil. But God is preparing us. For the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. And that is why he's telling you all to repent right now. And accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Before it's too late. Make sure you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as well. So once again, this is Apostolic Watchman and Prophet Antoine R. Westbrooks. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. And that is why I'm coming on here today to let you all know. The good news, the exciting news, the outstanding news in the whole wide world that Jesus Christ is coming back soon with power and with great glory. He will appear at any moment at an unknown, at an unknown day, hour, years, months, days, weeks, timelines, whatever. And I'm here to uh, to let you know that now is the time for you all to prepare for the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. I am not here to give you all rapture dates and I am not here to give you all rapture predictions. I don't do that. That's a form of witchcraft. And that's the money, totally the money to do rapture dates and rapture predictions. 
The rapture is still real. The rapture is still imminent. And so is the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. There is no escape to escape out of the seven-year tribulation full of death, destructions, and chaos. There will be no mid-trib rapture, no pre-rib rapture, and no post-trib rapture in the seven-year tribulation. Because once a person is being left behind after the rapture of the church and into the seven-year tribulation, then there is no escape to escape out of the seven-year tribulation. And there is also no escape to escape from the Antichrist and the one world false prophet, including from the pits of hell and the afterlife, which is the second death. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is still coming back and He does not want anybody to perish in the last days. He do not want anybody to perish into the lake of fire and hell forever. He wants everyone to go to heaven to be with Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And you must go through Him only. You must go through Jesus Christ only because according to John chapter 14 verse 6 and it says that Jesus is the way the truth and the life, and that no one comes unto the Father but by Him. Jesus Christ is the only, only way to heaven. And He is the truth and He is the life, and that no one comes unto the Father but through Him. You cannot make yourself, you cannot make yourself as a God thinking that you are the way to heaven. You are not the way to heaven, but only through Jesus Christ Himself. You have to go through Him. You cannot get to heaven based upon your good works itself and that you still deny Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You cannot depend on people saying that they are the way to heaven and that their own ungodly evil gods, their false gods, and they trying to lead you all away from Jesus Christ and, and trying to lead you all straight to their own demonic evil false gods, thinking that they are the way to heaven. Those demonic evil gods, including their own religion, including themselves, they are not the way to heaven, but only through Jesus Christ himself, only. There's no other way to get to heaven, but that you, you still need to go through Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Only him. He's the only way to heaven. And that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, does not want anybody to worship the mighty gods, the mighty demons, he does not want anybody to worship male and female idols, including statues of idols. He does not want anybody to be in religion where they, where they create their own carved images of their own false gods. Neither Buddhists, neither Catholics, neither Muslims, neither all these worldly religions. All these worldly religion will not get you to heaven. They will get you all straight to hell because they deny Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And they led a lot of people astray and into the wilderness, into the darkness, into evil, and into their false teachings full of the mighty doctrines of demons, of devils. So please stay away from worldly religion. Come out of there immediately and come back to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Why? Because he loves you. Why? Because he created you inside of your mother's womb in the first place. No worldly religion and no man and no woman has created you but God. God has brought you here for a plan and for a purpose and for a reason. And he still has some plans and some purpose just for you. And that God created us to have a relationship with him. You must have a relationship with Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Why? Because He loves you so much. And He does not want you to be like the world. He does not want you to be like the worldly people who loves, who loves the things of this world, including all ungodly sins. They even practice love, support, and doing all these ungodly sins in this world. And that's why the Lord Jesus Christ is telling you to come out of there right now. And be not conformed to this world. Never ever copy off the behaviors of this world. Don't be like the worldly people. Who love sins. Who love darkness. Who loves evil. All that ungodly stuff. 
And don't be like the worldly people who loves Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. And that you realize that both of these two candidates, both Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, have denied Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And that they still telling people that they love sins. And that they still love murder, abortion, homosexuality, transsexuals, transgenders, all the even lesbianism. And all that sexual immorality, including fornication, pornography, masturbation, all that stuff, including idolatry, pride, pride month, ego, haughtiness, and all these ungodly sins, including barrenness and unforgiveness. These two candidates, both Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, will not, I repeat, will not lead you all to heaven. They will lead you all straight to hell. And that's why the Lord is telling you all to get away from these people and come out of idolatry. Come out of worshiping and loving and supporting these male and female idols in politics, in sports, in entertainment, and all these areas as well, including in secular music and secular music industries and even rap music as well. They all turn against God. They all turn against Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. They all have mock and scoff against Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So y'all need to get away from these um these male and female idols and clean. Please get away from Kamala Harris and Donald Trump immediately. Stop worshiping them as your gods, as your idols. Stop committing idolatry and repent. Repent unto Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Once again, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris will not, I repeat, will not lead you all to heaven. They will lead you all straight to hell. And they are also leading you all straight to Satan and all demon spirits. Including Jezebel spirit, Ahab spirit, Leviathan spirit, Pharaoh spirit, and all these demite strongholds and all these demite demons. All these demite demons including Satan. Yeah. All they try to do is to kill, steal, and destroy all people. And that's why they're using politics as a distraction to get us to... To not focus on Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and to make us to uh, to focus on man and woman in politics, saying like they're going to do this, they're going to do that. They promise you this, they promise you that, but then all of a sudden they broke their promises, and they said that they're going to do those things. They will not do it, and that's why we need to stop leaning towards men and women in politics. We need to draw back unto Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and we need to surrender. All of our lives and all of our sins and all of our wrongdoings unto our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because He is the only way to heaven, the truth and the life that no one comes unto the Father but by Him. And by the way, you cannot serve two masters, both Donald Trump and Camilla Harris and then Jesus Christ at the same time. Because you're still committing idolatry. And you're still being disobedient unto God. And you're still being disobedient unto Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You need, and, and by the way, you, you cannot serve two masters, both Satan and all demon spirits and Jesus Christ at the same time. You need to hate Satan and all demon spirits, including all these ungodly sins. And you need to surrender your life unto Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And you need to let Jesus Christ be your number one Lord and Savior. And you also need to let him be your number one God in the whole wide world. Because God is the one who creates the heavens and the earth. Not human beings. God has created human beings inside the mother's womb. And that God is still using them to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And to pray and intercede. And to do other things as well. Yes, God is giving them dominion. To take, over, to take over the fish, the sea, the birds in the air. And also, he's using them to, um, to work in the workplace. And also do other things as well. Now, even though we're in this world, but we are not of this world. Yes, we still have oxygen to, to breathe. But without Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, our life will be nothing. And that means that we will be in big serious trouble. Because without Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior... And all of a sudden, we die in two seconds or at any moment here in the last days. Then we'll be, and then 
then God will send his angels to pick us up and he will take us straight to heaven and into the great white throne of judgment to face judgment in front of God and in front of Jesus Christ. And that's when we will find out and see if our name is found written in the Lamb's book of life or not. Now, if our name is found written in the Lamb's book of life in heaven, then congratulations. Welcome home. And then the Lord Jesus Christ will say, Congratulations. Welcome home, my sons and my daughters. You may now enter into the joy of, the, of your Lord. Enjoy heaven. This is your eternal home with eternal life forever. Amen. And that's the and that's the best part to hear our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ tell you all about that when your name is found written in the Lamb's book of life in heaven forever. Now if your name is not found written in the in the Lamb's book of life, then Jesus will say, Depart from me, you wicked lazy servant, for I never knew you, you who practice lawlessness Enter into the fire you go. And then you found out that you that you have been found guilty of breaking all Ten Commandments. And that you have been found guilty of committing all ungodly sins. And that you hated a lot of people and clean. You rejected Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And that you have mocked and scoffed against God and against Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Including the kingdom of God in heaven. And then all of a sudden God will send his angels and he will grab you and he will pull you out of heaven and he will and he, and and they will throw you into the burning fire in hell forever. They will throw you out of heaven and into the burning fire in the pits of hell in the lake of fire in hell to be burned and to be tormented forever. And you do not want to go to hell ever again. You do not want to go there in the first place. It's way way too dangerous to go to hell. It's too dangerous. Do not go to hell. Too dangerous. You must repent and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and be filled with the Holy Spirit and receive water baptism, healing, deliverance, church homes, and then, the, and then discipleships so that way God will spare your lives and that He will keep you safe and keep you protected forever. Amen. Let me read you all this uh, scripture verse and you will see why the Lord will, will still say, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. But I'm going to read this to you just to show you proof. And that is um, Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 and through 23. And it says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I declared to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. And that is Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. So when you look at verse 23, you'll see that it says, And then I will declare to, to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. This is this is definitely the scariest part that our Lord Jesus Christ will say unto him and unto her who have been found guilty of breaking all Ten Commandments and have committed all ungodly sins and that their names, their full names are not found written in the Lamb's Book of Life. If you do not want to hear, if you do not want to hear these words from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, then now is the time for you all to repent and to surrender your lives unto Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So please do it right now. Do it now, immediately, and fast before it's too late. Amen. And also, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is not here to judge us. He is here to save us from all sins, from all darkness, from all evil, and away from Satan and all demon spirits and away from going to hell in the afterlife. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has died on the cross for all of our sins. By the way, God has sent his son, Jesus Christ, into this world not to judge the world, but to save the world. And he also sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for all of our sins and for all of our wrongdoings. And that he was buried and then on the third day, 
God the Father raised his son, Jesus Christ, out from the dead. And guess what? Jesus is still alive today. He is still alive forevermore. He is still alive the next day. He, he's still alive. Jesus is still real. He is still watching us. He is still talking with us. He is still loving us so much. And He is still warning us to prepare for the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. And He is still warning us to not deny Him. To not mock and scoff against Him. Jesus Christ is still alive and He's still here with us and He's also here in heaven as well. He's still here on this earth and He's also watching us in heaven. And that's why God is still here with us. He hears our prayers. He hears our conversations. He saw us doing this and doing that. And He knows what, what it is that we're about to do next. He's been watching us every day, every night. And he also wanted us to spend time with him and to have our love relationship with him. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ still loves you and he's giving you a big, big hug like this. I love you. And he said, I love you, my sons and my daughters. I really, really love you so much. I'm giving you huge hugs right now, said the Lord. I love you, my sons and my daughters. Keep waking up. Keep staying awake. Keep watching and praying. Keep interceding to my people. Keep sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. And do not give up, my sons and my daughters, said the Lord of hosts. For I love you with an everlasting love. And I will never leave you nor forsake you, said the Lord of hosts. And that is what God is saying to you right now. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And he wants you to know that he is always available to you. Anytime you need him, anytime you want to talk to him in prayer, and also in conversations with him, anytime you want to spend time with him, he is always available to you. Every day, every hour, every morning, every afternoon, every evening, all day, every day, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and 365 days a year, even today as well. So Jesus Christ still loves you and he's still smiling on you. He loves you so, so very much. Now, the next thing that the Lord uh, showed me is that we must we must continue on trusting and obeying God. When God tells us to do something, and that is through repentance, salvation, baptism of the Holy Spirit, water baptism, healing, deliverance, church homes, and then discipleships, we are to do it. Because there's nothing to it but to do it. When God tells us to do it, then He's doing it. Then he's telling us for a reason, and that is to protect us and to keep us safe away from harm and away from danger and away from Satan and all demon spirits. But if we don't do it, we open the doors for the devil to attack us and to kill, steal, and destroy us. And we are not to be like the five foolish versions who just saying that they accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, but that they have denied the Holy Spirit. They deny having a relationship with Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. They they even deny obedience unto God. They deny God's instructions. It's too dangerous to be like the five foolish versions. And that's why they end up being left behind after Jesus Christ returns. After Jesus Christ comes back. And that he took all his people, all his bride home to be with him forever. Yes, the pre-tribulation rapture of the church is still imminent. It's, and it will happen at any moment. It could happen today, tomorrow, whenever. But what I'm talking about right now is that these five foolish versions say that they accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, but they deny, the, they deny having a relationship with Him, and they deny the Holy Spirit, and they would not keep their lamps on, and they just went to sleep, and then all of a sudden Jesus Christ comes back, and then He took. His five wise virgins who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and received the baptism of the Holy Spirit and pursued their love and, in and intimate relationship with Him. And they keep their lamps burning and they keep on adding oil inside of their lamps. And they also receive healing, deliverance, church homes, discipleships, including attending Bible studies as well. And that's why we need to be like the five wise virgins to get ready for the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. And we are not to be like 
the five foolish virgins who just wasted their own time becoming lukewarm Christians and they still love the world more than they love Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And they're making the whole world as their masters, as their false gods, and as their idols. There's too many idols everywhere full of witchcraft, demonic spirits, Satan, and all demon spirits, including bitterness, pride, unforgiveness, greed, lust, temptations, etc. So, like I said, this world is not our home anymore. And that heaven is our eternal home with Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. Let me just read this uh, scripture verse on Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 to 13. And it says, then the, kingdom of, that, then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather in those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, and while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterwards, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you yourselves know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. And that's Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 to 13. So please understand this. Let's be like the five wise virgins who is getting ready for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who pursues our love relationship with Him, who keeps our our lamps burning, who keeps our fires burning as long as we receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So that way, when we receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, then we shall see the kingdom of God and we shall live in the kingdom of God in heaven forever. According to John chapter 3, please read that as well. So once again, keep looking up because our redemption is drawn near. And and. Get ready because Jesus Christ is coming back soon and an unexpected day, hour, and timeline. And that no one knows, not even Jesus Christ himself, not even the angels, not even us as well. No one knows when Jesus Christ will come. And he is still coming back soon like a thief in the night, unexpectedly and immediately. According to Matthew chapter 24, verse 36 to 44, First Thessalonians chapter 5, Verse 1 to 11, and then 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 18. Amen. So, and also, please read the book of Matthew, chapter 24, because all these events are happening right now, including weather storms like Hurricane Milton, tornadoes that now struck Oklahoma, and it is my condolences to the, to the people who have lost their lives. So, it is my condolences to them. And that's not all. There's, there's earthquakes. There's volcano eruptions. There's false prophets and false churches that are still rising up and deceiving a lot of people and leading all people away from God and into the pits of hell and even mocking and scoffing against Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. There's so many people that has also mocked and scoffed against Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Yes, they are mockers and scoffers as well. And there's so many end time events that are still happening according to Matthew chapter 24 and the book and also the book of Revelation as well. But however, we are not yet in the seven year tribulation. We are still going through trials and tribulations. However, the seven year tribulation will be the worst years ever. It is not a piece of cake. I repeat, the seven year tribulation is not a piece of cake. Don't even think about 
trying to make the seven year tribulation a piece of cake. Because they will not. It will be the worst seven years ever. Because once the pre-tribulation rapture of the church happens first, then of course, of, of course to um, what First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 to 18 that says, The dead in Christ will rise first, and then those who are still alive shall be called up and meet with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the air. And that is why we need to be ready for the pre-tribulation rapture of the church before he comes back. And and also there's a lot of people that says that they want peace and safety, but unfortunately they will end up with destructions and deaths and more chaos and more problems that will happen forever throughout the seven year tribulation. And by the way, after the rapture of the church, that's when the Antichrist will rise up and he will reveal himself to the world and that he will share his solutions to create a one world government or the beast system. He will also create a one world currency where he will use money to, to become digital currency. And that he will use the mark of the beast or the microchip to have to force everyone to, to take it and to plant it onto their right hands or onto their fore, or onto their foreheads. And yes, the Antichrist will rise up and so is the one world false prophet. According to Revelation chapter 13, read that. Learn and understand about the beast of the sea, which is the Antichrist, and the beast of the earth, which is the one world false prophet. Learn that and understand that. And plus, that's all. Because after, after the rapture of the church happens, that's when the first seal begins to open. And that's the revealing of the Antichrist and the one world false prophet. And then the second seal of God's wrath opens and that's when war begins to happen. World War III is coming straight to America. And it'll be so, so terrible. They'll be, that means that Russia and China will, will nuke and they will destroy America, including all major cities, including here in Chicago. And, and all the rest of the places in America and all the rest of the places around the world except Israel. And plus there will be civil wars happening everywhere around the world including here in America. Because America has become the mystery Babylon and also Solomon and Gomorrah and also Nineveh. And that's the second seal that will happen. The third seal is when famines comes in. America will lose a lot of food, a lot of drinks. And by the way, keep this in mind. That after the rapture of the church or the pre-tribulation rapture of the church, America will become bankrupt. That means the whole economy will crash. It will happen not just in America, but around the world. The whole economy will crash. And people will be looking for their loved ones, their families, their friends. And then all of a sudden, all these clothes are found in the ground. All these people are missing. Millions and billions of people will be vanished. Yes, the news will report about that as well. It will be totally, totally chaos and totally, totally out of control. Full of violence, full of looting, both stores and people's homes. Full of everything because America has become bankrupt and now all of a sudden they don't have money, they don't have food to eat. All that food will be, will, will be removed quickly. In a couple of seconds, out of the stores. And all these people will become totally scared, looking for their loved ones, their families and friends. And then most of them will start crying that their loved ones, including their babies and children and everyone, will be gone. Including their parents as well. It will be total, total chaos that will happen everywhere throughout America and throughout around the world. And after those things that happen, oh yeah, and also cars, planes, trains, boats, etc. All these tra transportations will be in a halt, but they will crash each other. It will be a total chaotic accident. Because all these passengers are missing and, are, and they are raptured to heaven. They are gone to be with the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything will, will be going out of control. So if you're trying to make America great again, I don't think so. 
because God tries to make America great again, but America has turned against God and has turned against Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And that's why God is getting ready to bring His wrath unto America and around the world between now and during the seven year tribulation. Now, I told you all about the first seal, second seal, the third seal, that's famine. People will be totally, totally hungry, looking for food to eat. And then they trying to go to the store, and then all of a sudden, all, all the foods are gone. And that's not all. The Antichrist will force people to take the mark of the beast or the microchip. And he will make everyone to pledge their allegiance to, to serve Satan and all demon spirits, including serving unto the Antichrist. And yes, there will be AI robots that will be working for the Antichrist and they will be, and they will be working under the one world military police forces. And then that's all. There will also be a one world religion that will happen. And it's full of lies and deceptions. And that the worst part is they're going to deny Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, and they're going to ban all the Bibles out of this world. And that they are going to attack a lot of Christians and a lot of tribulation saints who carry the Bible, who worship the Lord Jesus Christ instead of worshiping Satan and all demon spirits. If I were you, I'd stay away from the Antichrist and the one world false prophet, and i stay away from the mark of the beast and the microchip anyway. And if I were you, I would not take the mark of the beast no other micro trip. So please don't take the mark of the beast. It's too dangerous. Now, I'm telling you, I don't care if they trying to tell you that you should take the mark of the beast or the micro trip and th so that way you can buy or sell products. Don't take it. Because if you take it, then the Bible warns us in the book of Revelation that anyone that takes the mark of the beast and have served and still serving Satan and all demon spirits, including the Antichrist. Then the people with the mark of the beast planted on their right hands and onto their foreheads will be destroyed by the wrath of God immediately here in this earth. And then they will also be destroyed in the lake of fire in hell, which is the second death forever. That means there will be no more second chance of going there there will be no more second chance of going to, to heaven ever again. That's it. Because once you take that mark of the beast on the microchip, you're done. You lose. And sadly, you will be destroyed with the wrath of God during the seven year tribulation. And there will be no more second chance of going to heaven ever again. And then, of course, I already told you all the third seal. And then the fourth seal, that's death. The continuation of wars, famines, diseases, facilities. And all of severe weather storms that will be going out of control and that will destroy the entire city and state here in America. All the major cities will be destroyed. So is the states as well. It will be huge, huge severe weather storms and so much more. Even great earthquakes that will split America in half and the rest of the, and the, rest of the nations as well. All except Israel. And then there's so much wrath of God to come, including the seven, the seven trumpets of God's wrath and the seven bowls of God's wrath. So please read the book of Revelation. Learn and understand about it immediately. So please, I'm telling you all, Jesus Christ is telling us the truth. That he do not want anybody to be left behind here, here in this world. Because once the pre-tribulation rapture of the church comes, that's it. We're going home to be our, with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in the air. And by the way, the Lord reminded me and he told me that when you hear the trumpet sound, by the way, this will happen before the, before the seven-year tribulation comes. Where we are right now, Jesus Christ could come back at any moment. And when we hear the trumpet sound, and when we hear the archangel making an announcement and even calling our names, like for example... Antoine our whispers, come up here and I will show you many and mighty things. And then that's when our bodies will change in, from physical bodies into our spiritual bodies. And that, and that we will be levitating and that we will be, we will be flowing up to the air, through the ceiling, and out of this world immediately. There will also be, 
there will also be times when we will all of a sudden change into white globes of light and that we will all be raptured up to heaven to be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and that we will no longer feel pain, nor sorrow, nor sadness, nor fears, nor worriness, nor anything else. All that will be gone between doing the pre-tribulation rapture of the church and while we live in heaven forever. It will be full of love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and tempest. We will all have love, joy, and peace, and that we are so excited to be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to expect, and to expect watching Him and seeing Him and giving Him big, big hugs unto our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ forever. Because He's the one who saved our lives away from all ungodly sins, away from darkness, and away from evil. He's the one who is protecting us and He sends His angels to protect us and to keep us safe with Him forever. So now is the time for you all to repent and to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And you want, and since you all want to go home and be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and, and to meet with Him in the air and into heaven during the pre-tribulation rapture of the church, now is the time for you all to repent. Because this is it. Jesus Christ is coming back real soon, like a thief in the night, unexpectedly and immediately. According to Matthew chapter 24, verse 36 to 44, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 18, and then 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. We want everyone to go to heaven, to be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But we do not want anybody to be left behind after the rapture of the church and into the seven year tribulation full of chaos, destructions, death, and more things to come, including full of God's wrath, and along with the Antichrist, the one world false prophet, including Satan and all demon spirits who will take over the world during the seven year tribulation, and also to torment, to persecute, to kill, steal, and, and destroy a lot of people, including tribulation saints. In the seven year tribulation. So please do not be left behind. Don't even think about staying here. And be persecuted by the Antichrist. And the one world false prophet. Including Satan and all demon spirits. Because this world. This earth will turn into hell. Like the lake of fire in hell. During the seven year tribulation. So you do not want to be here. Staying here. And you do not want to stay here as well. So please get ready. Jesus Christ is coming back soon like a thief in the night, unexpected, unexpectedly and immediately. And now is the time for you all to repent and surrender all your lives and all your ungodly sins unto Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ is your father. He is, he is your brother. He is your sister. He is your mother. He is your father. He is your daddy. He is your number one best friend in the whole wide world. And that's why he's giving you a big, huge hug. A big round of a big hug. The greatest hug that you will ever receive in your whole entire life. Like this. Mm. See what I mean? Just like I'm giving you all a hug as well. The same thing that Jesus Christ wants to give you all. He's giving you all his hug right now. Because he loves you. And he will never leave you nor forsake you. He is here to save your life. And not losing your life. He do not want your life to be sent into the lake of fire. And be burned in hell forever. Because the devil is definitely a liar and a deceiver who deceive you all to hate Jesus and to mock and scoff against Jesus and to reject Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Because the devil hates Jesus in the first place. Satan hates Jesus in the first place. And he wants everyone to hate Jesus in the first place so that the devil will kill, steal, and destroy all people and send them straight into the lake of fire in hell forever. And there is no wild parties in hell there's no water to drink in hell. There's no escape from hell. No ladders, no ropes, no nothing. Hell is eternal death, eternal punishment, eternal torment, and eternal destruction forever. So please, don't even think about going to hell. You need to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So that way, your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life in heaven Forever. And make sure you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, water baptism, healing, deliverance, church homes, and then discipleships. Amen. So this is it, y'all. Now is the time to receive salvation unto our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
Now is the time for you all to repent. And now is the time to surrender your life and all your ungodly sins unto Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And if you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and even if you are a lukewarm Christian or you're, or you're lukewarm or backslide away from God, And if that's you, if that's you, and if you do not want to go to hell and the afterlife, and you want to be rapture ready for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the pre-tribulation rapture of the church, and for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that he could appear on the clouds at any moment with all power and all great glory, and, and, and also when the trumpets sound by the archangel and all the angels will come and Take us all home to heaven and so that we will all be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If that's you and you want to get into the ark with Jesus Christ and you want to get on board for the pre-tribulation rapture of the, of the church and you do not want to go to hell and you do not want to be left behind here in this world. If that's you and even if you will vacillate or you're being lukewarm and that you realize that you do not want to be a lukewarm Christian or lukewarmness or, or being backslide away from God and into all ungodly sins before the pre-tribulation rapture of the church comes, then please say this simple repentance prayer with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner and I'm asking you to forgive me for all my sins in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that you died on the cross for all my sins and that you are buried and on the third day, God, your Father, have raised you from the dead. In the mighty name of Jesus. So that way, I shall be saved. And I shall become a born-again Christian with the Holy Spirit. And I shall be your follower of Jesus Christ forever. So right now, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Come into my heart. And be my Lord and my Savior. And take full control upon my life. For your word says on Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, Ask and shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. So right now, Lord Jesus, I ask you, God, to pour out your Holy Spirit to live inside of me by giving me tongues to speak and tongues to pray in the Holy Spirit. And I receive your Holy Spirit right now, Lord Jesus. And I accepted your Holy Spirit from you, Lord Jesus, right now. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. And I also receive you, Lord Jesus. And I also accepted you, Lord Jesus, right now as my personal Lord and Savior. So come into my life. Be my Lord and my Savior. And take full control upon my life. I am yours and you are mine. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Forever and ever. Amen and amen. Now the Bible says on Romans 10, 9 and 10, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God who raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For it is with the heart that men believe, and it is with the mouth that confesses that ye are saved. So once again, congratulations and welcome to the heavenly kingdom family. And yes, you are right, you're ready for the returning and for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, including the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. Amen. So I encourage you all to find a church home that share the gospel of Jesus Christ and that lead all people unto salvation and repentance and also unto baptism of the Holy Spirit with water baptism, with healing, deliverance, church homes, discipleships, including discipleships and also attending Bible studies as well. And I also encourage you all to read the book of John starting at chapter 1 to learn more about Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and also read the book of Acts to learn more about the Holy Spirit and how to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as well. And then read the book of Psalms and Proverbs to learn more about God's wisdom so that way God will teach you all how to live right with Him against living wrong with Satan and all demon spirits, including all these ungodly sins. And then finally, read the rest of the Bible so that way you all can learn more about God's creation of heaven and earth, including us, that's you and me, as human beings, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, including the Holy Spirit, other Bible characters other Bible characters that still existed here on this earth long, long time ago, and the revealing of what's to come from the book of Revelation in the Bible. That's the last book of the Bible. 
forever. And please read the book of Revelation so that way you all can learn more about the kingdom of God, which is the new Jerusalem, and also the seven seals of God's wrath, including seven bowls of God's wrath and seven trumpets of God's wrath, and also learn about the mystery Babylon and the fall of mystery Babylon, that America has become the mystery Babylon, and that America will fall as well. And also learn about the two witnesses, and also learn about um, the mark of the beast, and also the Antichrist as a beast of the sea, and one world false prophet as the beast of the uh, as the beast of the earth, and then learn and then learn everything else. Learn the rest of all these stuff from the book of Revelation as well. So that way, God will show you all Revelation. He'll give you all dreams and visions of what's to come, including He will give you all some rapture dreams, rapture visions, the seven year tribulation dreams and visions, and also World War Three. Dreams and visions, civil war, dreams and visions, and all, of, and all of God's warnings from the end time dreams and visions that God will give to you. And plus, He will give you all warnings as well through His prophets and prophets, and also through watchmen and watchwomen and everyone else as well. So you all get ready and be prepared for for the pre-tribulation rapture of the church because. I want to go I want to go home to be with Jesus Christ forever and I know you all want to go home to be with Jesus Christ in heaven forever. Heaven is our eternal home. This earth is not our home. It's only temporary, but we are here just to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and to watch and pray and answer to all people, places and things, including unto Israel according to Psalms 122 verse 6 and the rest of all nations as well. So we got work to do for the kingdom of God. Our heavenly crowns is waiting for us. Our heavenly rewards is waiting for us. And so is our heavenly eternal houses and mansions that God is preparing us. It is still waiting for us as well. We know our dream homes. We, are, we know our dream houses, our dream mansions, etc. That's why God is building those things up. That's why he's preparing us. He's uh, for the preacher relation rapture of the church. And he's preparing us. For our houses and our mansions in heaven forever. So get ready. And Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Like a thief in the night. Unexpectedly and immediately forever. And that we shall all be changed. With a twinkling of an eye. From our physical bodies. And into our spiritual bodies. And that we shall all go home. And be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ forever. Amen and amen. So God bless you all. Jesus love you all. Peace and shalom. And I can't wait to see you all in the clouds in heaven. Doing the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. Amen and amen. God bless you all.